The paperfall effect is finally here. After months of developing and delaying the launch, today it's finally ready. Also a huge thanks to all the people that have participated in the beta and that helped me fix a bunch of things that were happening. And also a huge thanks to the people that have pre-ordered the plugin, which they already have gotten early access to. So let's get started. The launch version of the Paperfall effects contains 10 Paperfall animations that you can simply drag and drop into your clips. Now, each of these 10 have two variations. One of them, which is basically using whatever element you used as the mask. So the paper will only show whatever is in the area of your element. So if you use it on a logo, it will only show that logo or if you use it on text. And then the other variation shows the actual complete paper animation with the actual paper shown completely filling the screen. Then we have a collection of pre-made animated elements that come as generators so that you can natively access them right in DaVinci. I also went ahead and recorded the sound that you can use to bring these effect to the next level. So the launch version of the pack contains 18 fully sound effects that you can simply drag and drop into your timeline and then also edit and then play around with that until the effect looks the way that you want it to look. So how do you install the paperfall effects? All you have to do is double click the DRFX file and then DaVinci Resolve will prompt you to install the effect and then you will be able to find it inside DaVinci. Now, how to use this effect? First of all, to find them, you can either use the effects tab, search bar, and then type paper, or you can find them by going to effects, then Suave, and then find the paperfall effects plugin right there. After you have previewed the effect that you want to use, all you have to do is either double click or drag and drop these on top of the element that you want to add the effect to. You can change the overall position, you can change the media position, which is the element that you add the effect onto, and then you can also change the actual paper base animation if you want to modify these, just rotating it or making it look a little bit different. And then you can also change the different applying modes and the blend modes in this section right here so that you can change the way that your element looks with the effect added onto it. All right, now this is what took a bunch of more time and then what will make this effect look 10 times better, the tracker. Now, before you make any changes to the tracker, what I recommend is that you adjust the timing or the duration of your element. That way you don't have to retrack things again. So let's say you have your element and you want it to be there for four seconds. So after you make these four seconds, you can go to the tracker and click X this will delete all the previous tracking data. Then click on go. This will bring this to the set point that's gonna be the guiding factor for the tracker. After that, you can track backwards and then press go again and then track forward. While you're not able to see anything right here on the edit page, if you wanna see what it's actually doing, you can open the effect in Fusion and then after you press the tracker, you will see the timeline indicator moving and then you will see how the tracking is done. Now. If your system is not super powerful, this might take a little time. So just keep that in mind. So that's how the effects work. Let me show you the pre-made elements. So the pre-made elements are all generators. So they all work natively in DaVinci. To use them, first you have to find them in the generator section. After you have found them and previewed them, simply drag and drop them into your timeline. And then to modify the position, scale and other values, simply use the inspector right here and then change the values from here. Or you can also activate the transform controls viewer right here and then simply use that to position your elements. Now for the sound effects, these are all audio files that you can either add to your audio library. You can also drag and drop this folder straight to your media bin and then add them to your project from there. Now these are a few important tips to know. If you want to apply the paperfall effects to videos that have been cut out Meaning that if you open your clip in Fusion and the frame or the starting frame is not zero, then the effect intro won't really show up. So what is the workaround for this? The workaround for this is to simply turn your clip into a Fusion composition and then add the effect onto it. And that way the intro will work as if it were just a normal image or any other type of element. For the sound effects, you can modify the sound effects and make any changes to them and then actually save them into your power bins to use them later on in the future. To save them in the power bins, all you have to do is drag and drop them in there. And that way you can use the same sound effect that you have modified without having to go through that modification process 
all over again and again. Now, one last tip is that if you want the effect to look a little bit more interesting, you can combine these with the paper edge effect that you find in the effects tab. So simply drag and drop these paper edge effect and then make sure that it is on top of the paperfall animation effect. That way the paperfall animation effect is also affecting these paper edge effect. If you have seen the cinematic trailer, I use these right at the end when the paper falls animation show up. And you can see that these look a little bit more interesting and look more like paper like after I have added this paper edge effect onto them. It's just one little extra thing that you can do to make this effect a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that is the first version of the paperful effect. Those are the things that it contains, but there are more things that I want to add to it. First of all, there's native transitions. I've already figured out a way to make transitions that work natively in DaVinci, basically just like any other transition, but that they are paper folds. So that way you can simply use them as transitions between different clips. Then I also have more paper for animations that I've already created, but that I haven't crafted, or meaning that I haven't gone through that whole process of building the actual macros, which involves a lot of masking and going through that long process. And then also adding more pre-made animated elements. But time will tell when these next future updates will come. In the meantime, you can find the effect on paperfulleffects.com and then purchase it through the Lemon Squeezy page, or you can purchase it also through the Fourth Wall page. In both cases, they are the same. It's just that on Lemon Squeezy, I have set up an affiliate program. So if you want to make a review of the Paperful Effects, for example, you can make a review and then get your own link so that you can get commissions on sales from people that purchase through your link. 